Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I'm going to try to get the last uh, reversal of fate feat that I'm missing, which is on Scattered Stars on the Sea, if. And the feat is where Lester defeats Elwyn. So, to try to get this feat, what I'm going to do is several things. First, let's grab the equipment from... I believe it's actually currently on Lance, but it's Cherry's equipment set, and I'm going to throw it onto Lester. So that's step one. Step two, I'm just going to quickly demonstrate how, I guess, uh, hero levels affect soldier stats. So the current soldiers of the Berserkers has 430 to attack. I'm going to try to bring him to level 60 from 51. I might not have enough. But it's going to be pretty close, I think. Oh, I do have just enough. If I use up basically all of my uh, experience potions. So there we go. Level 60 now. And the attack has now gone up to 488. So it's increased by like 50 for 9 levels. So it's a pretty dramatic increase. Alright. And I'm going to use Lester with Berserker Soldiers because they're infantry and they have 448, 488 attack. My Just for this fight, in fact, I've raised my Berserkers up to level 5. So that's just before they start using up uh, SSR items. So they just used up most of my gold books and whatnot, but they now have pretty solid stats as a result of all of these changes. Also, just to help assist in buffing up the, for this fight, let's open Lester's Bonds. I might as well upgrade his first bond a bit. It was at 5%. Now it's all the way up at 9%, so that's an extra 4% stats. Every little bit helps, I think. There's no point in upgrading the third bond, which I don't even have in the first place, but it only increases hit points and defense, and what you need is to increase the soldier's attack value. So that's why I did this upgrade. Alright, so that's just about everything I can buff on Lester. The very final thing I will change though, is I'm actually going to change Lester from his Master Dragon Knight class down to Pirate. I'm rather curious what kind of stat difference that will lead to. All right? So let's take a look. So yeah, I lose 46 attack this way. Bit less hit points, 46 attack, which is the big thing. The other ones don't particularly matter. But that should be fine. Because I'm losing 46 attack, but for that loss of 46 attack, I'm going to be gaining plus 20% attack from the buffs in the battle. So in terms of skills, he is fine, right? Move again, Aqua Blast and Chain Hook. There's nothing else I can bring that would increase his mobility or anything like that. So, good enough. Let's give this a shot. Secret Realm, Twisted Fate, Reversal of Fate, and... Let's get started on the battle. So here we go with the battle, and what I'm going to do at the start is figure out how to position myself, right? I'm going to assume Lefto comes, Leon moves up here, sprints, and moves up three tiles like so. So in order to attack him properly, I'm going to have to put everyone ready to attack him. So let's place my characters according to that. So let's have the first buff, the second buff. Third buff. Lester can move up a little. Elwyn can back off a little. Action buff. And then Liana will just come up like so. So there we go. Everybody moved 
and I'm ready to face off against the enemies. Now, this turn I really need to crush Leon. So let's get to it. And I don't want to trigger this uh, the enemy mages. So let's have my attacks come from here. And then retreat down. Or actually just retreat over back here, it's fine. Yes. Second attack. Yes. I'm actually going to use Elwyn to attack as well. Because I know Elwyn will heal back up from the damage he deals. And... Let's place... Rock Arm right here. And finally... Let's use again... To attack one more time. There we go. So that way, Leon falls. And I'll place Lester up here. Because now I need to focus on taking down the mages. That's the priority right now. Hook in order to and back off. And let's now try attacking down in Melda. Well, prayer up at this point. Got lucky here. This was pure luck. Alright. Let's take down Igbert then. Going to go as far as using roar. Vargas. Need to refresh all these buffs. So let's actually start with Elwyn attacking Vargas. Oh! 
命令を Good enough. We can, oops! That's okay. Let's start taking finishing off our guys then. I can pretty much take my time to slowly weaken down this Elwin so that my Lester has a chance to kill him. Note that my Lester only has 872 attack as opposed to this Elwin who has a ridiculous 1031 defense. So it's going to be a slow grind to weaken him. But that's okay. I have time. Yes, Wakata. Yes, then look they kick. Yes, Wakata. Let's just fuck him up. And continue to slowly weaken Elwin. Let's have this one attack first. Because I know this one applies cannot be healed onto Elwin. Okay, there we go. So it's down to. 1400 hit points, which is, should be low enough to kill. So let's have my Lester use its Tidal Surge attack at this point. And that was enough to kill him. So there we go. Taking advantage of the Berserkers to take down Elwin. And there is the feat. So with this, I have all 15 feats. And I'm going to say right now, my battle is not exactly replicable because, let me just jump back into it again. The reason it's not exactly replicable for this fight is simply because Egbert used his fireball skill instead of meteor or black hole on my, when I attacked, right? That kept all my characters alive, you know? Elwyn, Lyanna, Lester, I believe all three of them would have died if Igbert used an AoE strike. So that was pure luck. Um, but nonetheless, the key point here is Lester needs infantry soldiers. Okay, As long as he has infantry soldiers, the infantry soldiers will take down Elwyn as long as you weakened him to the point where he has barely any hit points, as I did, right? So there, there's a little luck element there, right? But you have three characters who can keep attacking and weakening him. And because you can kind of manage Elwin's hit points by uh, allowing him to heal up a little, right? So you can allow him to heal up, do some damage, allow him to heal up, do some damage until he's weakened enough for you to make sure that Lester can kill him in one shot. So that's pretty much the summary. 
keep all your characters alive. Doesn't matter how you do it, as long as they're all alive when you're just facing Elwyn and Vargas. Alright, thanks for watching everyone, and on that note, Nitro Arrow.